In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to add RSS feed on your WordPress website. RSS is a type of web feed that allows users and applications to receive regular updates from a website or blog of their choice. The acronym RSS actually stands for Really Simple Syndication or Rich Site Summary. It's sometimes referred to as the feed or RSS feed. It's a structured XML document which contains full articles or the summary and metadata for each item like date, author, category, etc. You can subscribe to RSS feeds by using apps called feed readers. To do that, first you need to install and activate the WordPress RSS feed retriever plugin. I've already installed it, but if you need help installing a plugin on your website, we have a video explaining how to install a plugin. I'll link it in the description below. Now, in a new tab, search for what type of content you want to display and write RSS feed URL in front of it. Let's say I want to display the latest news from around the world. So I'll just type CNN RSS feed URL in the search bar. And usually it's the first link like it is here. So I'll just open this link. And here you get RSS feed URLs of multiple titles. I'll open the top stories link. And we just need the URL of this page. For now, keep this tab open and back in the plugins page, Click on Get Started under the plugin. Now scroll down and copy this shortcode. You have to paste the shortcode wherever you want to display the feed on your site. So I'll display it on my home page. And below the content, paste this shortcode like this. Now make sure you change the URL of this shortcode to the actual RSS feed URL you want to display. In my case, it's this one. So I'll change the URL like this. Items is the number of articles that will be displayed. You can increase or decrease this number as per your need. Excerpt equals 50 means a summary of 50 words will be displayed. Read more is set to true. This will allow the user to read the full article by clicking on it. When someone clicks on the read more button, they'll be redirected to the original article. New window set to true will open the link in a new window. Thumbnail size is 200, and cache is set to 12 hours. You can change these values as per your convenience. Then click on Update. Now let's go to the website to see if it worked. As you can see, a feed of the top stories is displayed here. And when I click on the article, or read more, I'm redirected to the original article. This is how you can add RSS feed on your WordPress website. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you with the next one.